with a 100 cup percolator. You will see on all the commercial ones, it will be stamped on one side or the other how many cups. This one has measurements for 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 cups. You can also see the stamping on the inside, so it's easy to know exactly where to fill it to. To start, once you have your cold water inside, you can also add this back in or do that before you put the water in. Either one is fine. There's a hole in the bottom where that goes into. And basket goes on top. There's a hole there. Goes over the post, slide it on top. This basket does not need a coffee filter. It's not necessary. So the co coarse grind coffee goes right directly into this basket. To know how much coffee to put in, it is one tablespoon per cup of coffee that you'll be serving. So if you're filling the entire coffee urn to 100 cups of coffee of serving, you're gonna need 16, uh, you're gonna need 100 tablespoons because you're making 100 cups of coffee, but to, you don't wanna be doing 100 spoons in the basket. So there's 16 tablespoons per measuring cup of coffee. So you wanna divide 100 by 16. And to do, so you divide 100 by 16, that gives you 6.25 cups. So I would put in, put your finger over the hole here, put in six and a half cups of coffee. It's much easier to count six than versus 100 tablespoons. Again, if you have the smaller percolator, which is a 40 cup percolator, it's the same concept. So you fill your water with cold water, 40 cups, 40 tablespoons of coffee, is 40 divided by 16 gives you two and a half measuring cups of coffee, add a little bit extra more, like one or two tablespoons extra. To know how long this is gonna to take to brew, it's one minute per cup. So you need to make sure you plug this in on time and give yourself an extra 15 to 30 minutes before you're on, on top of that, before your event starts. So that should it take longer for one reason or another, we don't know why, then at least you're still good to go. Um, the other thing to consider is, is that once the, this uh, percolator has been started, so you get your lid on, you plug it in, it starts the cycle to, to make it hot and to brew the coffee. Once this has started, you cannot unplug it and move it. So make sure wherever you are serving your coffee or wherever you are going to do the entire brew cycle, it can stay where you plug it in. Once it's hot, you can plug it in and move, you can unplug it and move it, but not mid cycle. It has to be done brewing to move it. So that's one key thing to always remember. And I think that's all I can share with you. Happy brewing. Till next time.